Greetings, guys and girls, and welcome back to Gamers Play Defiance. And welcome back, Jack. Uh, you may remember him from the last episode. He was sitting in the back while I played. This time around, however, he is playing, but he doesn't want to record... Um, well, doesn't want to do the commentary. So he's left me to do the commentary while he plays. This is his character. Yes, look in the top left corner. His character, as I mentioned in the previous episode, is called Honey Tits. Hang on, how come you've got a threat too? I don't... I think it's just the area, maybe. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, because I think you've actually got... Vo uh, not Votan. I think you've actually got Volge over there. Oh, no, they're not Volge. They're player characters. Uh, <laughs> um, anytime we've played together, he's loved, absolutely loved this car, the Raptor. He, I don't know why, he doesn't actually like any of the go-karts or any of the other stuff. It's got to be the Raptor. Um, so, what actually are you doing? <laughs> well, I know you're actually fighting Hellbugs, but why, um, have you got missions that you're going to do, or what? Do you mind if I use the, uh, gamepad? The gamepad? Go ahead, use the gamepad if you want to. Yeah, guys, I'm a PC gamer, so I do prefer mouse and keyboard, but Jack is an Xbox gamer, so he is much more um, confident using the control pad than I am. I find the mouse and keyboard much more accurate. He doesn't. So, you know, it, you're going to see two different styles of gameplay in, in this series at the moment. Um, what? What? He, he's giving me funny looks while he's running and jumping and rolling around. And guys, yes, I know exactly what you're looking at. She has pretty cool armor, but it's not the armor, it's the ass that you guys are watching wiggle in front of you. What are you doing? The bootay. The bootay. The bootay. The bootay. Okay, okay, Jack. Showing us the bootay, I'm sure the viewers will be very appreciative of it, but okay. You're going to do a main mission. Okay, so what's this main mission here? New discovery. <laughs> he can't remember how to use the control pad despite the fact that he uses the control pad on his own Defiance Gamer on his Xbox at home. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So, shut up! He's mocking me, guys. If you can't hear him, he is mocking the fact that sometimes when I try getting in my car, I, I get in the... Um, I get in the... Um, the passenger seats. But anyway! <laughs> uh, what's his main mission you're doing? You're, oh, okay. Your main mission is to run down raiders. Is that it? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Um, okay, what is your main mission? The one that you've chosen. What are you doing? You don't know what it's called. <laughs> Find out when you get there. Okay. Guys, you do realise this is probably going to be a mission that I've already done. If you look at the ego rating for um, Jack's character, 169. Okay, my character isn't much higher, but um, <laughs> he says he'll catch up with me eventually. Thing is, he's already done this mission on his Xbox 360 version of the game. So he knows exactly what he's doing. So there's no um, mystery to any of this at the moment. So, yeah, Jack, don't try and pretend like it's... Are you trying... What the... How did you? Hey! Eh? <laughs> he just flipped the raptor. How cool is that? You're getting shot, by the way. Ah, that hurts so much. Well, he only shot you a couple of times, and your shield is almost gone. Got to admit, that is such a cool gun. Don't you think? Cool. I do love that gun. It's a problem that the armor doesn't actually have an armor rating. I think. I mean, the outfits are all cosmetic. Which is good in a way, because if they actually had armor ratings, then people could actually pay for these things and get decent armor, but paying for it? And I don't agree with that. You know, microtransactions, fine for cosmetic if you just want the game to look better, and fine if you just want to add a little bit more spice to the game, but I really don't like the fact that you can pay to be a better character. You can pay to have better armor, pay to have better weapons. I don't like that. That's not what playing the game's about. Playing the game's supposed to be fun. So I know that armor looks cool and I really would like it to have some kind of armor rating, but I'm actually really happy it doesn't because that armor came with the special edition version of the game. Um, this isn't a mission I've done. This isn't a mission you've done because you haven't got the DLC. <laughs> this is part of the Arcfall DLC. Not Arc. What's it called? I can never remember. I keep calling Arc it the Arcfall. Arcbreaker, that's the one. Arcbreaker DLC. Well done, Jackie boy. I mean, so I was disappointed that I don't have it. <laughs> He's disappointed that he doesn't have Arcbreaker, people. How many DLCs are there now? There's Arcbreaker, there's the Seventh Legion, there's what? Gunslinger. Um, 
so far I've counted three, but I'm sure there's at least... Oh, there's the Cast of and Charge pack. So that's four. So the fifth one is... Yeah, but that that's not that's a patch, isn't it? I think the no, new one. That's not actually, actually DLC. DLC. You oh, you have to pay for it. Came without paying for it, and there's also the paid features. Oh, so you got some pieces that you didn't have to pay for, but you haven't paid for any of the DLC. Uh, like the little shield things and that, yeah. That came with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As anybody knows, whenever any DLC is released, there's always something that's released for just people who play the game, and there's other stuff that is released for people who pay for the DLC as well as have the season passes and stuff, which I think is fair enough because if people are paying the season pass so that they can get all this extra content, um, then you don't really want all the people who aren't paying to get it as well, do you? Otherwise, kind of defeats the point, defeats the object. But let's see how Jack, on his own, handles. Arc breaker. He's used to having the setup that my character has on the Xbox. He's used to having a setup his character on the Xbox has. I okay. We have invisibility, damage spike, and healing stim. I don't have any healing stims. You don't have healing stims. Yeah, you don't, don't have, have the cloaking. Stims. It's called cloak, you noob. It's not called invisibility. It's cloak. After this, I'll respect my skills. Respect your skills. Um, if you can do that in this version, I hope you can. I'm not... Can you respect your skills in the Xbox version? It oh, that's cost, lame! It cost about 5,000 script or something. Oh, okay. How much of your... Your character's got 37,000, so... <laughs> if it's going to cost you 5,000 script to respect, I think... On Xbox, I have like 200. Ah. And by the way, I have like a million, million uh, material salvage stuff. A million Art Matrix salvage yeah, it's, because there's bits. pretty much no use for it in the Xbox version. Like, all you do is, oh, found best, best gun, don't you? You see, more. the more <laughs> I hear about this Xbox version, the yeah, fact that there's no... Rubbish, it sounds a bit rubbish yeah. compared to the PC version, That's but then I'm again... Saying, this, this version is much better. You see, my brother plays the Xbox version, or at least used to play the Xbox version when he used to play 360, but now he's got the Xbox One, you can't actually play Defiance on the Xbox One, which he thinks really sucks because he thinks this game is hysterical. Well, not hysterical, he thinks it's brilliant, thinks it is just so much fun, and guys, it really is. Doesn't matter what platform you play, try this game out, even if you just play a, try a free demo. This game is that much fun. Um, but yeah, and it's it's a pain in the neck that you can't play if you if you're an Xbox fan and you got the Xbox 360 and you've decided right okay pack that away shove it in the attic because you want to play the Xbox One and then all of a sudden you can't play these seriously fun games like Defiance. I mean it's a pain in the neck. But again, the more I hear Jack talk about the Xbox 360 version, the more I'm not that keen compared to the PC because the Xbox 360 that you the Arc Matrix salvage bits or whatever they're called. Yeah. And there's no use for them. You've run out of ammo, by the way. And your character lost shields. In case you didn't hear that bit. <laughs> kind of want to change myself a little bit. You want to change your setup. Well, you can't do that at the moment because that will be a really boring video for my viewers. But um, all I have to do is respec. Respec. Uh, respec costs you 1,690. Okay, look. Be quick. That's supposed to disappear. That's, uh, don't know why that's still equipped. That one's still equipped because that actually comes as part of a DLC and is not one of the things that you need to spec into. Oh no, you don't know anything about this game, do you? You've not spent any time looking up how to re how I don't to spec. Know anything at all? Oh, yeah, no. No, you're not high enough. Your your oh, Xbox use, character's well, 500. One. And that one. Those two are the ones I want. You see, that's very similar to the ones I want. I want the four in the middle. Four in the middle. Preparedness. Stowed weapon automatically reloads over time. I think that is an awesome, awesome... Yeah. You can get some weapons where it actually has an ability that does that. Really? Yeah, I found one of the uh, Volge cannons. So cool. But, yeah. Um... <laughs> Where's ammo? Um, if you look on the mini map, it's where the eye is. I, I, a little white diamond. <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm. Do you know? What? I'm going to have to apologise because sometimes I just continue talking to Jack, and I assume you can hear him. But I don't know if you can. This microphone is on my headset, and I don't know if it's sensitive enough to pick up Jack's um, half of the commentary. Uh, but I am here. I am real. <laughs> <laughs> I am here. I am real. There we go. See, he, he does exist. You know, I mean, if, if if for no other piece of no piece of evidence to prove that he exists, other than the fact that I have now had to take out shares in Pringles and Jaffa Cakes and cookies just to feed this gannet, 
every time he comes round <laughs> to play computer games. Um, but <laughs> you died again. Uh, it's the best time to Yes, okay, but you still haven't reached the Volge big boss things. If you can reach them and then tell me that you've died less times Which than me. Which Volge big boss thing? Do you by any chance mean the Warlord thing? Yeah, those things. By the way, those things are really annoying. Yes, I know those things are really they annoying. They're supposed like to be. the uh, Hunter thing. I can't remember what they're called now. They're like Hunter... They, they summon the Hunter Drone. The hunter drones, yes. They're that, really annoying. Yes, they are really, really, really annoying. You can hack those. Yeah, the hunter drones are something. The like hunter that. drones can be hacked, and they're really good fun. <laughs> they're useful against those things or something. They are, but if you remember, guys, if you remember my episode, I'm again, I'm talking to Jack as if you can hear him, and I don't know whether you can. He was telling me that he really hates the uh, Volge Warlords, he hates the Volge Hunters that have the hunter drones. Yeah. Um, and I hated those as well. And if you remember from my previous episode where I got stuck in one of these because the person who was supposed to be doing it with me, who was a much higher ego rating than I was, decided to leave halfway through and I was stuck with all these Volge Warmasters and Hunters and etc, etc, etc. And I ended up having to quit the game to get out because I couldn't figure out a way to get out. Okay? <laughs> um... I don't know whether they fixed that bug. Is there a way out of this no. place now? There's still no way out. I was stuck out. in one of the minor arc falls alone before. Oh, uh, Jack was stuck in one of the minor arc falls alone. Yeah. That's and nasty. There's no way of getting out, so I had to keep on, like, I wasted most of my strength. Well, distracting repeatedly, trying to kill them all. They heal, though. Yes, yes, the... the uh, people, what we were saying, the, the, well, another annoying thing about the Vault War Masters and Hunters is that they actually heal themselves. And that's really, really annoying and really difficult when you're on your own. Um, but the big thing about this uh, arc wreckage that you're in at the moment is actually it's part of the main mission. It's not a random place. You get something at the end of this. You get some pretty cool weapons. So, and it starts you off on a really decent yeah. uh, quest chain. Like the handgun from the TV series. Like the handgun from the TV series, exactly. Anybody who doesn't understand what we're talking about when it comes to the TV series, just remember the names Ben, Cold Fire Weaponry, and what was the name of the shield? You know, the, the defense... It was actually called the defense shield. I think so, yeah. Oh, no, Stasis Net. That's it. The Stasis yeah. Net. Remember yeah. Ben, Cold Fire, Stasis Net. Watch the first episode. I got handgun in the Xbox version. You it's bought really, the handgun or you got the handgun? I got handgun. the handgun. I found, I like, I found, found, got it from one of the event things. <laughs> oh, okay. But well, I got a couple of 7th Legion stuff as well, but you can't equip them without the DLC. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, so you get like a sneak peek of the DLC, but you can't use it without yeah. the DLC. Like, I so. saw the handgun. Like, you know, you go do press, like you go onto a view thing, it shows you the handgun, what it looks like and everything. Yeah. It was so annoying because I saw it and I was like, oh, I know that handgun. I can't equip it. <laughs> <laughs> So oh dear, but it yeah, here we go. This is the um, same cold fire handgun that you get from it actually looks like the one from the TV show as well. I love it. He's trying to stroke my computer screen, guys. He's trying to stroke the gun. Boom! I love it. Yeah, that is fudging <laughs> awesome. Super fudge. That's what that is. That is a hand fudge gun. I get to use it now. You get to use it now. Well done. <laughs> um but yeah again this is one of the fun bits about having the dlc is that it gives you these excellent uh, yeah. quest chains and uh, these really cool weapons i mean that handgun i'm not a fan of using it with my characters but the handgun itself is awesome how cool does that look like the armor i'm wearing yes the armor you wear i think i love the armor but one of the good touches watch on the back of her head again if you get yeah, to see it von, von back yeah. right at the back i love that i think it's just really nice touch so now i'm some woman in power armor with some awesome you're a woman with power armor mind. with an awesome machine awesome thing it's an handgun. ego unit yeah it's not in your mind it's in your arm whatever <laughs> it's a living machine um yeah it's a living machine sort yeah. of no, sort no, that's of. How they describe it. Like Von Bark uh, found a whole load of them and stuff. Oh, okay. And basically, he reactivated them and programmed them to help us instead of no, trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jack's telling me you something know, that Von Bark actually. Do. Um, Von Bark apparently found something and reprogrammed it, and it's yeah. now our friend. And I have no idea what that's he's talking what about, he, so I don't care. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not meaning to sound rude at all. Hang on, what are your what are your claimable items? You might get some decent weaponry or something out of that. 
Oh, he's telling me to shush, people. Uh, yeah, he's telling me... We all know how dangerous that is. <laughs> um, what are you doing? How much crap have you got in your inventory? 32 out of 39. I see. I love it. <laughs> the bulge cannon thing has, more, has a bigger explosion. Yes, but the thing is, it's not got onto anything to explode yet, has it? Wait until it's actually hit some meat okay. and then see what happens. Now, are you going over to another main mission or are you going to do something else? Have you done one of those purple things? The Shadow Wars? I found it really weird, but yes. Isn't that the PvP? It is, isn't it? Because yeah. I've not done one for ages. What it does is it's sort of like, yeah, like I can join it if you want. Um, yeah, go for it. Show the viewers what the PvP looks like. And then you see the timer in the top left hand corner. Deploying in 25 it's seconds. Really sort of, I think during it, you can see other players which aren't inside the Shadow War. And they'll be like doing an arc fall or something. And they can't see you, but you can see them. Like it will happen sort of like, it's sort of like in the middle of sort of a parallel universe kind of thing. Okay. I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see when it starts. I might yeah. be able to find some players which aren't actually inside the Shadow War. Yeah, you see, it sounds familiar, but I haven't played one of the Shadow Wars for quite a while. Yeah. And I must admit, it was I fun when I played it. Why have you what? It should have spawned me at the Shadow War. It has. No, I think I was already here. Okay, you're within the Shadow War. So, look. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So, even when you're in the Shadow War during PvP, you can still get NPCs trying to kill you. Uh, yeah. Only some of them. Only some of them. But that that is interesting. I quite like that as a and feature. My already losing this. Oh my god, you're 1.4 kilometers away. Yeah, that's what I was on about. It didn't, it didn't send me. Oh, you got, you got to achieve. <laughs> you got to achieve, so that's going to be a good thing. But okay, so we're not going to be able to see the PvP because you're not there yet. It's okay, we have 16 minutes. I can get there in that time. Okay. Well, just to let you know, we haven't actually got much more time on the episode left, so you better get oh. there quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Whoa! God love your driving skills. Actually, they are pretty awesome. <laughs> Shame you haven't got the Raptor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I might be... Actually, I'm not sure. You might have the Raptor, actually. Some of the vehicle... like I don't know if you can. same with the clothing in that lot. You can unlock clothing only for... Ah, PvP. only for PvP. So ah. you may have like done some of the reputation missions and stuff. And it'll say you've unlocked clothing, but you won't actually have it in your clothing. Ah, so clothing. when you do some of the achieves through, because uh, not just reputation, but there's also all these other little side missions, like yeah. doing certain some things in certain areas. I think there's like right. going over seven bridges of Marion or something, right. things like that. And you get like um, rewards for it. And yeah, I'm in the Shadow War. You're in the Shadow War. Right. Hurry up and do something. <laughs> I need to get to you. <laughs> My teammates are over there. Your teammates are over there. They're the green ones. They're the green ones. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Okay. <laughs> The enemies um, you should be, they should have a little red arrow above them. Sometimes they don't. If they're invisible, then you just have to look for some blood. Okay, so I, I think we all gather. I think we, I'm, we're not that Sorry. stupid. I think we all gather that if it's got a red well, arrow viewers. above it, it's a bad guy. Okay. What do you mean the viewers aren't? Are you insinuating <laughs> I am? No. He's insinuating, guys. He's insinuating that I am thick as two short planks. He's not I'm saying not anything. <laughs> He's, oh, you're going to get such a smack. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Guys, if you remember when I managed to get that thing stuck in a tree, does anybody remember, recognize this area? This is where I spent like two or three episodes trying to kill everything and dying over and over and over again. There's many uh, Vulture sieges here. Uh, Vulge sieges are prevalent here. They are pretty cool. I do love them. Okay, so now you're here. Yeah, now what? I'm going to get screwed over by loads and loads of um, the enemy team because of they've already claimed this. Okay, so you're going to get screwed over by the Tell enemy me team. Do you see anything blurry? Um, I see something oh, blurry. There, there's one. You're using a handgun. Oh, you did you just kill it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think one of my other teammates did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you've captured it. Well done! Okay. Now what? Now uh, I have to try and keep this in my control until the blue bar. Okay, on the, top the, gets other, up the other team's caught the time B. Runs out. Are you going to try and okay. stick with A while somebody else gets B? Yeah. I see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what gun would you prefer to use if you think that one's rubbish? Um, you know the gun from the first episode mission you get from Nolan? 
Uh, no, I don't remember it. Not offhand. Okay, you get a gun from him, yeah? It's like his gun, he has like, all the... Uh, you're weapons. supposed to be shooting! Don't stop! What are you doing? I have no idea what's going on now. Ah, uh, you came out of it. You had to go. Because I think you died. Yeah. While you were talking to me. I, I distracted you and you died. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, hang on, has Annie Tits got blonde hair? It's really weird seeing her in this outfit, considering I always looked at her like an android in that outfit she normally wears. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I get to what I get to witness your mega driving skills again. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just get out and jump? There we go. See. I think you mean roll. They see me rolling, they hating. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you just rolling? Seriously, you're supposed to be PvPing. You know, even better is this is actually very efficient at killing enemies. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it is, but <laughs> I want an even killing back. <laughs> even <laughs> PvPers. Yeah, you oh, your you're enemies, insane. Enemies can, yeah, see, I can love it. it. Guys, oh, here's a tip for any PvP defiance players. Get in your car. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's funny. It works wonders. It, it does. It, it's a better weapon than any weapon. So... <laughs> okay, where's... There's an ally. Yep. It took me a moment to figure that out, oh, considering... Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I just saw another player over there. Oh, I see. So you actually get... It's a bit like... um. I think it's Call of Duty, uh, where if you get shot, you get the... you. It pans to the person who kill you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Off. And then it comes up, it does it until the respawn time runs. Uh, you see, people, I'm learning so much from this total noob. Yeah, noob, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, unless they're, like, ego rating 5,000. Can I ask, are Which all noobs powered by Pringles, cookies, and Jaffa cakes? No. Just you. <laughs> uh, Although I have to give you your credit, you have grown tired of Jaffa cakes recently. Honestly, the only reason that was for that is because I had Jaffa cakes yesterday. You had Jaffa cakes yesterday, so yeah. you've decided to stay clear of them for a day. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's um, um, that, that that's kind of some kind of self discipline, you, I suppose. You know the saying, "You are what you eat." Uh, if you eat too many Jaffa cakes, you become a Jaffa. I'd be careful with that phrase if I were you guys. What Jack just said, if just in case you didn't hear, I've got to clarify this. He said, you, you are eat. what you eat. And if you eat too many Jaffa cakes, you become a Jaffa. I'm not sure if he knows what a Jaffa actually is. Do you know what a Jaffa actually is, Jack? Jaffa cakes. No, not Jaffa cakes. I'm not going to ask. Don't worry. Uh. <laughs> okay. Now, Jaffa is, is the brand of... Uh, mm, sort of a euphemism. A Jaffa is a brand of orange. And do you know why? <laughs> um, they're a brand of orange that are seedless. If a man is a Jaffa, he is seedless. Okay, okay. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Do you get that now? Oh, dear. Okay, look, hurry up with this because we've got no time left on okay. this episode well, at all. I've pretty much lost this anyway. If, if, in case it wasn't obvious. Uh, it, 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 it's kind of obvious, yes. Shh, I mean... Shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys right so that is all we got time for i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like and subscribe wait 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 <laughs> power slide. oh okay no we've, we're not going just yet because jack wants to do a power slide come on <laughs> that was one hell of an anti-climax thanks jack <laughs> okay guys like i was saying earlier thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you want to see some more of jack make sure to or hear some more from jack make sure to put your comments in and we'll get him back in for some more maybe defiance maybe dc universe online but thank you again and we'll catch you next time bye bye ciao for now bye i think i won't that I've not finished recording the audio yet.